What to do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not X, Y. And today, it's a solo episode. I just got a quick message for y'all. Uh, if you don't know, it's 2025, pretty much. Like, we're, technically, we're still in 2024. Yes, as of this recording, it's October 1st, 2024, but really, it's 2025. And what I mean by that is this. You know, going into the new year, people like to start their resolution, if you would, which is another keyword for failure on January 1st of that new year. And for the past few years, I've been preaching to start your new year's resolution in November. Um, that's when I like to do it because I was born November 29th. So my birthday is right after Thanksgiving and, you know, Thanksgiving, when we go home and eat and drink and do all that stuff, we can kind of indulge in those things that we're trying to uh, better in our life, if you would. So I typically start at the beginning of November. That way, when I go into the holiday season and Thanksgiving and I'm around all my friends and family, I'm able to, you know, uh, turn down certain things that I'm trying to, you know, get rid of or I'm just able to go into it with momentum and then go into the Christmas season and then the new year. So by the time t the 2025 or the following year comes around, I already got two months under my bag. Well, listen, it's time to level up. It's time to level that shit up. You know, life is all about leveling up. It's no more two months, it's three months. We need three months going into the new year to really have that momentum. Uh, just, just, just think about it. Going into 2025 with three months under your belt of doing whatever it is that you want to, you know, better in your life, whatever part of your life that is, just think of the power, the confidence, the momentum that is going to give you going into the new year. And that's what we need to do. You know what I mean? So it's getting, you know, a little chilly outside before you know it, daylight savings or whichever one it is. It's going to get a little darker. This is this is that, you know, that last three months of the season is 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 grind time. You know, it's going to be cold. It's going to be lonely. You know what I mean? It's going to be boring. It's going to be monotonous, but it's going to be necessary to develop that momentum going into the new year. So if you're still thinking that it's 2024, then you're already behind the curve. I promise you, no matter what field you're in, you're behind the curve if you are mentally in 2024. I've been in 2025 for the past few weeks now, but I've been preparing myself to really hit the motherfucking rubber to the road once October 1st came around, which is today. So like it and it's this is how big it is, not just past the brand personal wise. It's, it's two things that I'm looking to really uh, get rid of, if you would. But one in particular that I'm really going to like partake in as far as a journey that I've done before. And I'll share with y'all, you know, in the next few weeks or whatever. But I've done before for like four or five months a couple years ago. But I'm planning on going the whole 2025 with this new um, goal of mine. I plan on doing it for the whole 2025. So I'm starting it in October 1st, 2024. That way I got three months out of my belt and I'm comfortable going into the new year. When we do this new year's resolution shit, man, it's such a failure because you're literally setting that deadline as the new thing starts. There's no momentum. Like you're just, okay, boom, cold turkey. Right after Christmas when I'm turning up and okay perfect example most people for their new year's resolution is to eat better and exercise so what do they do christmas time they stuff they fucking face they don't work out much because they're on vacation so they're like okay i'm gonna start it now january 1st comes around then what happens majority of people don't even start they'll say january 2nd or january 8th the following week okay but let's take the minority group let's talk about the people that do actually start right there on the new year's uh for january 1st cool you got the you feeling good okay it's january 1st you know what i'm saying you got the you got the butterflies you feeling motivated what happens a week or two when you don't feel that motivation from the new year's resolution anymore you still want to tackle that goal but you don't have that motivation that giddy from from day one you know what i mean like the first day of something is always the most exciting but what happens is you don't develop that momentum you don't develop that discipline you just went off of emotion because you felt good you felt energized to start but when that wears off what happens we go to the gym january 1st that first week or two is fucking packed 
But then what happens? Two, three weeks later, you see it start to dwell down more and more and more. And it just gets to the normal people that's, you know, that's that's casually there as it is. And they're like, damn, what happened to such and such? I thought they were about to, you know, tackle the new year head on. And they disappear. They vanish. So I just say that to say 2025 is today. 2025 is now. October 1st, 2024 is really 2025. Go into the new year with three months of momentum. Do not wait until January 1st. Start now. Build that momentum. Build that confidence. That way, by the time the new year come around, you you hitting the ground rolling. Because I'm telling you, your competition, and we all got competition. It don't matter if it's in the business field, the entrepreneur field, the entrepreneur field, at work, whatever it is. We all got competition. And I promise you that your competition is mentally at 2025. I can tell you this, if you have a podcast and you're still on 2024 and you compete with me, then you ready to get your ass kicked because I'm I'm mentally in 2025. I've been here for a couple of weeks, but now I'm really, boom, like it's work. I've been preparing for October 1st, but now October 1st here is boom. Even with the podcast, perfect example, like I'm putting a few interviews out over these next few weeks to really spring me forward into 2025. I got some bomb episodes too, some bomb ass interviews that I'm ready to be putting out over the next few weeks. But that's because by the time 2025 comes around, I don't even want it to be no surprise. I want it to be, oh shit, he on his A game, he at the top. And so make sure y'all do the same, man. Really take heed to this word. Do not wait until the last minute. Do not wait until November. Do, do not wait until December. And damn sure don't wait until January 1st. If you do that, you might as well just throw the whole goddamn goal away. All right? It's October 1st. Let's build this momentum. Let's get into the new year with whatever it is we need to be the best version of ourselves. It's 2025, man. Come correct. I'm out.